Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Honda CRV, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first, I'll tell you a little bit more about it when, when all these driving instructors and bin wagons have gone past. It's a 2.2i DTEC X, 2014 on a 64 plate, one owner from new, fuel economy, urban 34.4 miles per gallon, extra urban 47.1 miles per gallon and combined is 41.5 miles per gallon. A 0 to 60 time of 10.6 seconds, a top speed of 118 miles per hour out of a 148 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 145 pounds and 12 months is 265 pounds. So it's got the, uh, the chrome Honda grill, xenon headlamps, high pressure headlamp wash, the front fog lamps, and you've got the parking sensors in the bumper there. Multi-spoke dark silver and diamond cut alloy wheels. Sat on Michelin tyres all round at, at the moment, so, so long as they're all right, they'll stay on. Roof bar carrier system, the panoramic roof with the electric shade band inside. And it's, this is fitted for roof, bar, uh, roof bars, which uh, there's three positions to, to go across there. Got the chrome strips round the windows. It's keyless lock and keyless entry. If you just press that little button, so long as you've got the uh, key on you, it'll lock. And same when you come back to the car, you just pull the, the door handle like so and it'll open again. It's got the rear privacy glass, the sill, plastic sill protectors and uh, wheel arch protectors there. We've got, let's see, that's the right button. There you go, power open, plenty of room in the back, nice flat loading surface, quite low down as well, so good for dogs and so on, uh, easy, easy access for them. Rear load cover, the split folding seats at the back there. Power close. Rear privacy glass in the back, rear wash wipe, and uh, kind of an integrated, um, Subtle spoiler in the in the roof there. Lovely in the back here, carpet over mats, nice light and airy. It's got the uh, panoramic roof. Obviously, the, the the blinds open at the moment, and it's uh, it's 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 nice. It's it's lovely environment in the back. Rear privacy glass, uh, usual things like Honda and all the Japanese. Uh, manufacturers seem to think of plenty of little uh, accessories places to hang your coat here we've got wrist center armrest with two cup holders and uh, nice high seat backs so no messing about with a lot of cars knocking the um, the head restraint up so so it's not digging in your back it's it's a lovely uh, lovely car in the back here Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Keyless entry and uh, keyless go. That's as long as you've got the key on you, just press the start button there. Um, let me just see the service book. I think this is uh, one owner from new. So first service there, 7th of 1st, 2016, 10,702 miles, uh, 8th of 12th, oh sorry, that was at, um, blimey, that was at somebody who's got such a small stamp, I can't read it, looks like J.T. Hubbard, 8th of 12th, 2016, 19,820 again, J.T. Hubbard. Then 21st of 12, 2017 at 30,220. Um, JT Hubbard, I'm thinking. Um, 11th of 12, 2018 at 41,698. JT Hubbard. 4th of 12, 2019 at 52,965. JT Hubbard, so full Honda service history there. Um, 57,816 miles, it's done. Okay, we'll just go for a ride in it. Before we do, let me just find 
so that's height and reach adjustable let's just put it down a bit so you can see the instruments and we've also got power folding door mirrors if we turn the headlamps on you have a little button here oh it's got to turn the headlamps right on and there you go that is a high pressure headlamp wash um, So as I say, full pan roof here, really nice, G gives, the, uh, gives the car a, a much bigger um, feel than it actually, or, or if, sorry, it feels much bigger than it actually is. Although the, the Honda CRV is a fairly big car, great car, lots have been produced, very, very popular for Honda. And uh, we do very, very well with them. It, uh, they're a very reliable car and uh, we well this is the second one we've had in a week the first one sold straight away just got round to videoing this one now it's uh, it's got the dashboard which I prefer which isn't quite as space age as the other one and kind of all uh, flashing lights at the top the little um, bong you heard then that's just to tell me it's low windscreen fluid um, so I need to top that up when we get back we've got paddle shift on the steering wheel very very busy steering wheel to be fair you can change the radio source from here you can change your information display from here that's moving that about to clock there you go what's on the radio and then uh, how many miles a gallon you're doing and so on click the menu there you can select all sorts of different things range and so on range has been selected so It'll, uh, it'll tell me that there. Hit down here, you've got phone, and then over here, you've got the, the center bit there. If I click that, it changes the center. It tells you the mileage. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't see what that was, to be honest. Temperature and so on. Over here on the right hand side, you've got your cruise control. So that's on, set. Just try that on the motorway, get to 70. We've also got uh, paddle shift here as well, which uh, I like just give the uh, automatic his brain some help sometimes here we can knock that down to sport you've got your heated seats here which are very very good power outlet in the front central armrest there's an auxiliary in and also USB in sat nav bluetooth hands free bluetooth audio streaming let's just uh, turn that on turn it up adjusting on that sound a little bit tinny and I know it's a, a very good sound system probably sounded even worse through the the microphone here because that's just set up for my voice it's not set up for loud music so we'll probably have uh, clipped it at the top I can assure you it's a good radio nice finish uh, black leather 
sports seats, the driver's seat. Let's get going there. The driver's seat has two position electric memory. which the controls are just over here there. You've got your, let's just see, there's your electric door mirrors. Let's make sure they both work when we get on this carriageway. The right one does, left one does. We'll switch cruise on set it just get to 70 drop in behind this chap plus is at the top minus there just one more click should do 70 yep it shows you in the information display in the center of the speedo there we're doing 70 at uh, just make sure we're in top there just over 2,000 revs I click that in sport you you wouldn't feel it but there is a surge makes the accelerator a little bit more sensitive so uh, even though it's in the, the accelerator in the same place you go faster if that makes sense I'll just drop in here too Over here we've got the economy button, you do that, no doubt the stop start system will come in if it's got one. And uh, it, takes, it takes all the enjoyment out of driving, you, you put the foot, your foot down it, it hardly goes, um, yeah we'll get that off, econ off, there you go picks up better without the economy nice drive nice and quiet just show you oh, I need to shut it down that's better it's already up so that's the electric shade band you probably be able to see the difference through the camera what the interior looks like as opposed to when it's open so it's got a nice light airy feel to it when it's when it's open which I prefer armrest just in the right place climate is here um, if I turn that down let's see map okay so that's showing you where we are at the moment I'll show you how to set the sat nav how to delete a mobile how to pair a mobile and how to stream audio when we get back to the garage uh, what, what else has it got it's got the diamond cut alloy wheels which are in pretty good condition I would say front and rear parking sensors it's got a, a reverse camera too which I'll try and remember to show you and it's got uh, power open close tailgate right, there's nothing behind me at the moment so I'll just stick that in reverse there you go there's the uh, there's the reversing camera put it back in drive before anybody comes behind me I also noticed then the the side mirror there uh, flipped down so you can see any curbs at the side of you and you don't reverse up them and damage your alloy oh my word picked the wrong lane much that roundabout, honestly, I, I think there must be a 5G 
mask there or something that, that makes everybody act strangely. to go through there a little bit faster just to make sure there's no knocks on the suspension or sometimes if you've got the track rod end gone you go around the bend there and you can just feel it feel it click through the steering wheel that uh, felt all good on the wiggle test Nice car, good family car, especially if you just like to be a bit higher up than uh, normal. The suspension's a bit more forgiving as well. Aircon's icy cold. On the right hand side there you've got boot release, your parking sensor switch, your headlamp wash switch, and then other switches that looks like probably an alarm off switch and uh, and also ABS. So I'll, uh, I'll finish the test drive here, uh, just remind you again if the video has been of any use to you please like and subscribe, it does help and um, watch our website ggcars.co.uk if this is sold and, and we, we've got videos on from years ago and people are still commenting on them and watching them so if you're looking at this at some time in the future when it's fold, it fold. When it's sold, just look at our website, see if we've got anything that interests you and you can email us, phone us, live chat us, you name it, um, and we'll, we'll do our best to help you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which, um, gosh, what, what have we got? We've got a Range Rover Sport, a 10 plate, we've got a Mini Countryman, we've got a Toyota RAV, um, what else what else what else that's all i can remember at the moment see you in the next video thank you for watching